<sighs> okay. So, my barrel's leaking. So I have uh, got some duct tape, got some silicone, silicone, whatever you call it. And I got, is it four? Yeah, four bags of ice, eight kilos. So here we go. It's absolutely roasting today. So this is going to be very nice. It's going to be very, uh, it's going to be a, give me a bit of a change, I think, because uh, the sea's warmed up quite a lot. I say a lot, it's actually like 12 degrees. So it's not that warm, but you know, it's not cold enough. So let's have it. See if this does the job. Okay, so the band-aid has worked slightly. Um, yeah, I think we'll give that a whirl. Try to fill the barrel up, barrel up that a little bit quicker. So I'm gonna chuck a few buckets of cold water in as well. Here we go. Ah. Okay, the band-aid's not working. Ha! Right, so the ice barrel dip is off, but I just remembered I have an actual bath. Don't know why I didn't think to use that in the first place, to be honest, but I'm gonna fill that up, I'm gonna chuck some ice in, and we'll have a, we'll have a go. Come on. Bit of redox, oi oi. Right, so I may have gone slightly overboard with the bubble, the, 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 the bubbles, but now we're going in with the ice. Eight koi kilo of it, so. Okay, might need a hammer. But bleach should do it, have a look. Bag one. Bag two. Three. Let's go. Oh, that's cold. Welcome to Swansea. Ah, good. Rather chilly. Okay. Oh, so why am I doing this? Ah. Like I said, the sea's warmed up quite a bit, and I think you know you're going to be doing about 15 minutes in the sea, 20 minutes in the sea, to really get the effect of the cold. So I just wanted to mix it up today, do something a little bit different, and uh, obviously the cold increases the blood flow wakes you up. I feel it felt a little bit, um, how would you say it? Just a bit nit, whatever nit means is. Um, yeah, just felt a little bit like that today, probably because of the weather, it's really hot. It's supposed to have a storm coming in. So yeah, I just thought this might help wake me up, which it fucking has, let's be honest. 
It's getting much colder now. The ice has been in here for a good couple of minutes. It's all melted. Uh, and yeah, the temperature, you can feel it dropping quite a lot. Sting is starting to happen quite, uh, quite a bit now. Brand new. Skin is a tad red. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. Pink as tits. Very nice. Quiff Richards beard. Uh, right, so it is about an hour now after the um, ice bath. The barrel one was just a shambles, so I'm going to have to fix the barrel before I try it again. But like I said, I did kind of forget that I had an actual bath there to use, but it is what it is. So my core temperature dropped quite a bit, I'd say, after the ice bath. Um, you know, my skin and everything still feels quite cool now, uh, but I feel much better. I do feel a lot, you know, quite rejuvenated from it. Uh, like I said, the sea at the minute is not quite cutting it uh, in terms of how you know cold it was throughout the winter and you know getting the full whack of the cold water therapy. Uh, so I am going to try and chuck in an ice bath, you know, maybe once a week or something like that. It does aid in muscle recovery. So anyone who is, uh, you know, training in the gym uh, or going for runs and you know in in some sort of any sort of fitness like that, it is really really good for aiding in the muscle recovery helps with the circulation of the blood around the body as well so you know it's generally why you start to feel quite like rejuvenated afterwards and it wakes you up um but uh one of the key things to remember like i said the, my core temperature did drop a bit from that uh because i've dried off and put some clo warm clothes on and the air temperature is quite warm in general you know it hasn't taken long for my for my body to warm up still in that process now which is where you you know you kind of get some of the benefits of it all but, uh, you know, if you're going to be trying it, you know, in, in the bath or whether you're going to be trying it outdoors somewhere, one of the key things is making sure that that warm up process afterwards, you know, is is done properly. Because if you remain in a cold environment, you know, and you're still shivering and really, really cold for a long time afterwards, that's when you're starting to risk things like hypothermia. So, you know, it is worth taking care in that sense. But, uh, yeah, if you've got any questions, guys, Drop me a message like i said i you know there are certain, a lot of things that you can read online about it which are going to give you a better insight in terms of the right safety procedures to go through and things like that but overall it makes you feel much better it's great for muscle recovery and the blood circulation and things like that so fucking get in that water come on